are at the 2024 Boot Dusseldorf Boat Show. And today we have an exclusive of the brand new 2024 Halberg Rassi 69. It's the largest of its range. You'll hear from Mr. Rassi in a little while and the head of sales. While we're here, the boat show, the halls are still under construction. We got here a few days early so we could get around some of the boats before the chaos and the crowds start. walk through round and then we'll do the interviews to give you all the details you want right starting aft you have double cleats aft which actually be really handy for springs a full stainless steel rail and obviously this is where your back stays obviously one here on the starboard side and over on the port side where your backstays will be attached access normally obviously you wouldn't be you can't see it because we're at the indoor show but here is your um, transom or aft bathing platform and i actually see if i can give you a look hydraulic so that will actually come down and you have access to that both here and over here and if you have a look swim platform there are your um, hydraulic controls for it so both port here and over on the starboard side you have shore controls not just for shore power but for aircon and so on and then you'll see the other hatch just over there. This boat has been set out with um, Flexi Teak, which is quite a nice option. It's nice underfoot. Should imagine it gets just as hot in the sun. So we'll start over here on the port side. You have a very large half locker you're about to go upside down nice rail there so perfect place as demonstrated to hang mooring lines put fenders and so on and centrally you have two we get one open two more lockers so centrally you've got no idea actually how big this aft deck is. There's a dinghy garage. So obviously if the bathing platform was down, you would have access in that way if you wish. Or while you're underway, everything's stored away, you have access to the dinghy. It is massive, absolutely massive. Um, I feel tender. I think this is a 330 or something like that, so three meter tender. And you can see how much space there is. There's that hydraulic ram for the bathing platform. And underneath here, obviously rollers and so on. Bathing ladder and fuses, huge. 
windows over the aft stateroom. You'll be able to see those when we get in, but as you can see, they are flash and opening hatches and set into the deck. You have the non-slip solar panels and Gerard's nice grab handle. We'll do the cockpit in a second. I just want to go forward first because you'll step up into the con cockpit. Um, it's got to be 18 to 20 centimetres. Don't know what that is in feet and inches. And I should do because I'm English, but I've lived in France for so long. We're at um, decimal. Okay, primary winches are Lumar self-tailing electric winches. And you can see finger controls there if needed. And we'll come back to the if needed. And obviously you have a central winch for your main sheet. We're going to come back to that. Bear with me. It's a big boat. Clutch there. So this is for managing your Genoa systems. Going to come all the... I should have brought a tape measure. Okay, you have access both port and starboard to um, pontoons or a wall. I would say actually centrally so roughly where that cleat is forward to the window you have around 60 to 80 centimeters of um, width actually going forward it is massive do you know tracks and obviously these are for your shrouds it's rod rigging um, carbon mast and boom and it's set up on a hydraulic system so that the boom can actually be raised, put under tension and raised. All the hydraulic systems are managed in the cockpit. I think for a boat this size, carbon systems are absolutely brilliant because it keeps the weight down. There you go, Selden gear, all flash hatches. I'm gonna come all the way forward for you guys to, so you get an idea of the size of this boat. There is a, we're gonna start all the way forward. So your furling systems, which is typical of how Bass Sea are set within the deck. They're below deck furling systems. So um, do you know what? Um, nice actually that your code sails are actually set up on a hydraulic furler too so if you have a uv protection on your code d or code zero you can keep it up all the time and then you have your anchor bow roller are windless as you can see i mean all the way forward i like the way how it's brought down on rollers and they've actually set this up so that within the bow sprit somewhere you can wash off the chain as it's coming forward and back into the boat and then a massive massive chain locker underneath you might be able to see the drainage holes there really really nice i'll give you a look oh, normally it's a three spreader carbon in furling mainsail mast there you go look at that now i don't know if you can see there is a very gentle curve of this deck all flush hatches it's massive massive right coming aft a little bit there is a huge storage locker i'm gonna get down in there so give me two seconds your Lumar so all your hydraulic systems are set up um, you know pipes coming through here so this is for your windlass and further forward um, which I missed really sorry about that guys is the hydraulics for your furlers um, you can see there is a hatch down here and there there's a bike on it at the moment so hydraulic pump and all the management system so everything that's dealt with hydraulically forward all comes to here it's all in its own sealed area so that if you need to you can just pop this up and there's loads of room down there and you'll see just this side that is for your bow thruster everything's where it needs to be um okay 
just having the small bike in here doesn't give it justice um, there's probably three three or four cubic meters of storage all your spare sails um, fenders especially if you've got those new blow-up fenders perfect for in here anything extra paddle boards um, kite surfing gear what it, you know your toys are just going to fit in here or in those aft um, dinghy garage your foot controls for the windlass electric foot controls now we're going to come aft right Good winch if you need it um, for setting in, well, if you need it for whatever. Uh, electric foot controls there. You'll see when we get inside in the saloon, you have these really nice, all the glass is done by Luma, all the hatches. Good old British company. So forward facing hatches on your saloon coach roof cabin top whatever you want to call both starboard and port over there you have opening hatches and once again this is completely covered in non-slip solar there are grab handles everywhere and then this handle here you'll be able to see if I flip you around it's a proper height so there's no issues whatsoever not having to bend down and on top of the hard top once again, there's more solar and there's a safety attachment point. This hard top is an option. I think if you're buying a 69 foot yacht, um, you know, don't quibble on the pennies, get the option. It's absolutely fantastic. There's something they mentioned in the Halberg Rassi 69 movie about how this is actually quite forward to the mast and it is and it's evident with the saloon down below you'll see and then within here sometimes I suffer with seasickness some of you guys know it you know it happens to us all and I can say that the further forward you are the more central you are to the boat the more comfortable that ride is going to be right I'm just going to step up into the cockpit nice and easy before I give you the forward view short Lumar electric 65 self tailing main sheet winch so as you can see with all your downforce on the boom you have one sheet that's it perfect start on the starboard helm as I'm here for steering um, Right, Raymond Marine Autopilot. I pointed this out on the Halberg Rassi 400. Save your marriage, get electronic controls for your windows and your chain counter. There's no excuse. Um, you know, a divorce is going to cost you much more than this boat. Bow and stern thrusters, and importantly, is your horn. Um, Okay, here's a little one for you in the comments below. Tell me what one blast is and what two blasts of the horn is, if you can. Just for fun, Raymarine chart plotter and your Volvo Penta start stop, obviously counter and electronic throttle controls. Nice hand holds on the pedestals there are points for security and once again for when you're on the hill these very handy steps both starboard and port keep you give you the support keep you a little bit even really important cup holders and somewhere for your mobile phone or a toasted cheese sandwich and your vhf radio Coming over to the port helm. Sorry about the noise, but they're still finishing off the show. This is what Halberg Rassi means when they talk about touch button sailing. We've 
gone over this before i'm going to do it again if this is your first time here at this channel watching this video please consider hitting that subscribe button give us a thumbs up everything here my fingers are going to get in the way so don't be upset everything here is self-explanatory okay furling your winches everything the whole idea uh, stand here and look forward pretend you're crossing the Bay of Biscay or the Atlantic or something like that the whole idea is you never have to move from either here or here and when everything's set preferably in there having carbon mass carbon moon carbon systems it makes the boats lighter higher up which means that you have a better um, writing angle so you can add your camera and so on up the mast it's not going to matter too much you have a better writing angle which means that the boat's going to sit better in the water it's not too heavy on the heel it's just really 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 good okay rain rain chart plotter i'm babbling on aren't i but these boats are well thought out. Um, there you go. Self-explanatory and a repeater and for hydraulics. So with this system, when we're at the Rain Marine stands, we'll go over this. So with this system, as you can see, um, you can tension your hydraulic systems, etc., and then it's adjusted within the buttons. This boat has been fitted out with a really nice drinks fridge underneath the seat, which I think is brilliant for those evenings in the tropics. And then the cockpit has been laid out with two um, separate tables, L-shaped seating, So I've opened the starboard side for you, I haven't done the port, so that's what it's like down. Plenty of room to go around. Open the two centre leaves on this side, just to give you an idea of how big um, the tables can be. And obviously while you're underway, if you wish, which I think is fantastic, obviously both tables do it, you have somewhere for your drinks, for your beer. I'm not going to remove the cushions. There is a lazarette locker on the starboard side, but not on the port side. But you'll see there is security for harness and so on. I'm going to sit down in here just for a second and give you a look. I think that's really nice about this hard top. Um, have a nice lining, LED lights are set in, and there's just, so if you're coming from the edge, you grab handles on the outside, nice wood varnish handles, they keep the theme running through, obviously um, Lumar glass, and then you have a really nice opening hatch, opening window forward. And something that's always been signature of Halbo Rassi is that second chart plotter, if you wish, over there. It's just handy. I'm in awe. There are two blocks um, either side, which would be very handy when you're sitting on watch, just to have your feet against. As you can see, we'll have a look when we're in the galley. Um, and that's an opening hatch that goes into the galley. And obviously, once again, just over there, you have a, a security for harness, you know, clip on your, your life jacket. There are little lights all around. And I shall ask if these can be put to red light at night time for when you're on watch, if you're on passage. The washboard for your companion weight is on gas struts. That's no surprise there, which is really nice. It tucks away out the way and actually above overhead on the companion weight there are these huge rain marine touchscreen 
repeater instruments and I quite like the digital compass display. It's very, very cool. Obviously you can configure these how you wish. Um, it's entirely up to you. Right, gonna come down at the companionway. Um, into what is your saloon? So I give you a pan out. You have your two signature armchairs over there. Nice sit down, have a McCullen whiskey. Very nice. And then a large L shape settee over here. You have a flat screen TV. I'm going to do the galley first because it's nice and big. Uh, we're going to start over here. Coming into the galley on the starboard side, you have a built in dishwasher. It's comforts, all the comforts of home. Very large fiddles, which is a signature of Halberg Rassi. And then over here, a top loading either cool box or freezer depending on how you want to configure it and while I'm here some really deep storage areas by your saloon port light windows the light in here is fantastic because of all the solar this one's actually been set up with an electric gimbal stove and oven made sense you might as well there's enough room for all that lithium so it's actually a four hob top and obviously you've got your sea locks either side this is quite a nice touch nice and smart pre-done for all your herbs and spices and then up above there see how deep that goes and this one as you can see there you have freezer and fridge on and off temperature control switches there and the cupboard goes all the way to the back so that's pretty cool and these cupboards obviously you have three here on the starboard side so three doubles we'll have a look at that one over there in a minute and then the same over on that side there right fridge storage light comes on really really handy and another top loading you know have it as a freezer or cool box if you wish now I spoke about this on the Alubat 43 that we put up on the channel the other day it's the correct way of putting the fridge and freezer you know centrally to the boat facing central if you know they're not port or starboard they're facing centrally so no matter how much you're on the hill what tack you're on you're going to be able to open and close the fridge with no issues whatsoever and once again signature from Rassi you have that chopping block it's actually really handy because sometimes it just gives you that extra bit of work top that you need and then cutlery jaws so timber on the inside I don't know what's going on here plastic on the outside maybe it's a weight thing self-closing just have to speak to him about that it's all nicely done yeah I will speak to him about that anyway right cupboards aft which is a really good spot to have them and these as i was doing on the other boats we'll leave a link for those up in the corner um obviously your pegs more boats should have them so as you can see it keeps all your plates bowls and you can set it up to keep your cups and your glasses in place while you're underway and you're not having to worry about anything smashing and there is one of those port lights that goes out into 
the um, cockpit. Once again, in <laughs> it's another top loading freezer, cool box, and you have stainless steel sink, fresh water and salt water for your needs. And obviously cupboards underneath light switches and all around the boat you'll see these little bits of wood with no um, you know handles or hatches on them Just give them a pop and they reveal secrets like this one your spectra water maker so this is set up for proper blue water cruising I want to give you an idea of head height in the galley. I haven't got a screen on this one, so I can't see, you know, whether I'm actually looking, but my arm is fully stretched and the tips of my fingers only just touch the ceiling down in the galley. It's one level living, which is typical of Rassi. I'm not going to go in the aft cabin yet because Magnus is in there doing an interview, but so you can see with the saloon table, this leaf actually will drop down, giving you space. There is storage underneath all of the seats. We're not going to pull all the cushions apart, not at the beginning of the show. And as per usual, there is drink storage. My whiskey's not in there, that's a little bit odd. Never mind, we can't have everything. <laughs> Maybe we're just up for gin tonight. Uh, nice seat here there's something i want to show you because obviously you've got your two lounges here i'll show you how those till i actually want to show you something that's set up down behind the seat so if i hold the camera back and open it up so once it's fully open you have a little step there so you can get on your armchair and just put your feet up You've got your drink, your gin and tonic or your whiskey. Sit here and watch your telly when it's obviously fully all the way up on the hydraulics. The armchair, there's a little pull underneath that I did, but the armchairs come forward. And then as you can see, there is storage underneath the chair and there is storage behind the chair. So both chairs are like this. I'm not going to do it to the other one. Pull that out. And we'll just pop the chair back. Me, we have grab rail all the way along and one of those opening hatches. So you have one both port and starboard. There's a lot to go over on this boat and to be honest I'm not going to get all the information on and all the options on one video but I'm sure we will come back. On the port side, there are, or there is a bunk room. They are very large bunks and being centrally central in the boat, obviously is gonna be a very comfortable ride. I think they're really nicely done. Just to this side, there is a hanging locker. And as you can see, there are system controls for heating and um, aircon and all that sort of stuff. And your top bunk, there's loads of space in here on both bunks. It's just really good. There is a storage locker there. Nothing behind the door but you do have an opening hatch. I want to give you an idea of the height. I know these really are meant for kids, but even so, you know, there's plenty of height. I'm going to spin you round. And on the starboard side, there is a double. You know, if I'll be a cosy, cosy double. Just before we go through the door, there is another um, hanging locker vented obviously um, keep them all down you might see 
part of the rigging and hydraulic controls up there that'll be for that winch um, on deck and some controls for climate control all that sort of stuff really nice central berth um two you know i say cozy it's bigger than most v berths that you get on a lot of these production boats so you know um nice material at the back for the headboard it's all insulated in here a locker very nice port light with privacy blinds and obviously here and on this side you have another locker i should imagine this panel gives you access to some form of services so we've just come out of here and once again opening hatch you'll find with all the cabins there are gerards for ventilation and all the i'll point this out on one so it's easy you have um you know mosquito netting and um, privacy blinds if that's coming forward before we get into the vip cabin on the port side you have a head so electric fresh water flush toilet obviously wash basin ventilation and a separate shower one thing I like about this, the separate shower, not a lot of companies do it. And I know people moan about steps, but there's actually quite a high step going into the shower because you know what it can be like sometimes underway. Um, there's a lot of water sloshing about. It's not going to slosh through. There's enough of a seal. It's a very big shower. Uh, there you go. Storage behind the mirror, and there is storage down here too. It's nice, nice size um, heads and shower. And then the guest cabin. So in these cupboards, I'm not going to open them, but they'll, oh, I'll open one for you. Otherwise, people will complain. <laughs> right, you'll find. There we go so main fuses they have a few switches these are main fuses um so obviously in that side a well you might as well just call it a full island um double really really nice they do port side so hanging locker you hear charges you can hear the heater there so really nice big hanging locker once again climate controls ventilated with lights small storage area here for i don't know boots shoes and then over here there are just spots everywhere fiddles really high fiddles here i quite like that's hinged as it is the way it is you could have a, a mobile charging mat put in underneath here so you could just plonk your mobile ipad down on there and have it charge if you wish another nice material headboard and obviously up ahead i'll open this side give you a better idea so you have two large opening head lockers, um, three over on the starboard side, and then two very big ones forward. These are the opposite way opening hatches that we saw when we were up on deck. Um, so it doesn't matter which way the, the breeze is coming from, you can get airflow down in here. And I like the vanity seat. Look at that, that's really cool. I wonder, yes it does, look at that, hinges out of the way very nicely, thank you very much. You have a nice vanity, 
you know. And once again, storage along here. There are, well, there is a mains plug area and USB charging. And then the VIP suite has its own heads and separate shower. So once again, fresh water electric flush toilet, and then you have another walk-in shower. There's a nice opening hatch here, and obviously the mirror cupboard and that underneath is the same. I'm gonna come forward. So in total, this boat has been set up with three heads um, and showers. Obviously you will see the master head and shower in a minute. Um, right there, just give you another look. Falling in love with this boat. Right, the all important navigation desk on the port side. You have drawers for tools or knickknacks, bits and bobs. So there's five of those here on this side. This is that top unit I was talking about that you can have on the 400, if you wish, you can have them on any of their boats. Um, I think it's a really nice option. Give me an idea of how big these fiddles are. They're everywhere. So this one has actually been set up with your Raymarine chart plotter. So you've got all your bits and pieces there and um, repeater. Have it as an autopilot if you want. And then enough room in this chart table for proper charts. European oak, by the looks of it, it's very, very nice. And underneath here, they have kept, which is really nice, the space for the library. VHF radio and touchscreen C-Zone electronic controls. I'm not going to go into this, we're doing a technical video with the electrics guys, um, so I'll leave a link for that, but as you can see, I'm not going to go through all the screens, I don't want to get told off, but you know, batteries, blah blah blah, you know, fusion stereo, and then your master vault and once again we have an interview with master vault so i'll leave a link for that video there too i'm not or well, i will actually if i can get away with it so once again everything is labeled numbered so for fault finding if there's an issue it's easily done look in the manual um, or call Halberg Grassi, give them the number and the information's there. There's your remote docking system. Absolutely brilliant. Now I'm gonna swing you around just for a second. So once again, it's, um, your <laughs> Ray <laughs> it's a touch screen screen. As you can see how they've got it at the moment. So you can see how they've got it set up with, say, solar panels, alternator, how it's going to the house, um, house bank. can be configured in the systems how you want. And then you'll see you have another one of these touch panels. If you open it up, switches, battery, all rocker switches, battery rocker switches for your systems, for your lights, so on. Um, digital controls for heater, air conditioning, yeah, it's all here. There's a lot of information to go over. I should imagine we will sometime do another video. And then just behind the nav desk, day heads, <laughs> most important when under passage. Uh, once again, it's an electric freshwater flush toilet. As per usual, you know, have your sink and so on. It's your faucet for you guys in America. And a hanging locker. 
this is an excellent space for all your wet gear um, so if I remember correctly you can have it heated um, so all your wet all your salt water gear can stay in here you don't have to trounce it through the boat you know, blow heater there and obviously ventilation up here in the cabin windows <laughs> right coming aft piece of resistance you have a separate washing machine and dryer um, very very sensible washer dryers aren't all that and if you've ever had one in your house then you know how it is that you shouldn't really have one in your boat it's a hanging locker here for wet gear and not that I can get to it but there's access to a tank at the back and then essentially before we get into the owner's cabin we have I've got to show you this door basically a walk-in engine room um, the specs will come up across the screen um, either at the end of the video or within the next few seconds there is as you can see you have a large Onan generator um, your domestic 230 um, volt system and then I, it's really going into all these fuse boxes and so on I'm not going to open them all but you have your main switches once again you can see with all your wiring all your pipe works everything is marked up and labeled uh, water manifolds there fuses obviously this is a fuel pipe for to go down into your diesel tanks diesel tanks as per normal uh, centrally and over the keel so i'm actually going to get in here the non-slip aluminium plates everywhere to walk around so as you can see exhaust system venting to back there is a oil oh get over there in a minute right in front of me i want to say between my legs like a stallion is a volvo penta d6 300 horsepower um, engine there is plenty of room down the side to get to filters sea water strainer you have Raycor filters you've got everything here so this is something i really like as you can see all the pipe work so they're all on a manifold all labeled and then i'll come back a little bit in here so you can see um, a little bit more around the engine obviously you can lift just further forward through there you see that section there that's actually your companionway so you can get to the front of the engine through the companionway just up above you have your automatic emergency um fire suppression system and then obviously gearbox going down to your shaft which is underneath so all this will pop out and move out of the way if you need to um exhaust system manifolds there and once again the uh, fuel recoil filters for the generator um salt water filter scrubber Oh, mate, there's just so much. <laughs> you can see I'm struggling. It's been a long day. I had nine hours of driving to get here. Um, up here, I don't know if you can see. If you can guess what that is, I'm not going to tell you. I know exactly what it is. Let me know in the comments below. Okay? And the first one to get it right will find something to give you as a, a gift. Um and then coming across over here right, lift you've got some more manifolds here just pop up a little shaft and there you go you know just this is just awesome the owner's suite or the delivery skipper's suite because um, skipper rules you have a king or queen size bed it's definitely much much larger than a double 
absolutely massive centrally obviously and those are those nice windows we saw aft so behind all that you have your um, tender storage um, dinghy garage and toy garage on the port side there is a really nice two seater sofa chaise long um, if you want to call it that and a walk-in <laughs> a walk-in wardrobe so plenty of hanging space there is some shelf space at the back here for bits and pieces they've got their hoover on it storage underneath and access two shelves and bits here and down in the bottom there is a plug and heater so you can blow warm air cool air in here and it is ventilated very very nice stick with this port side quickly um, storage so you have one two really nice port like window and then just above for overhead lockers open this one so you have nice size overhead lockers too it's just so much to see and another hanging locker that goes all the way outward Plenty of, you'll recognise this book. <laughs> Fiddles. It's nice to have a drawer by the side of the bed for your knickknacks and a cupboard. So this is mirrored on starboard side, on the other side of the bed too. So it gives you an idea. So much light. So you can see on the starboard side there is a vanity we'll have a look at that in a second and then a large flat screen television for your viewing this central section here gives you access to so you can get to the back of the generator and stuff like that if you want to you remove that panel so it gives you access to mechanical services there and here you have yet another fuse breaker section and a list basically tell you what they are what's in the manuals and that's repeated over here i don't know what's in here there you go heating and um, air con we'll come and have a look at the vanity area so a nice vanity nicely mirrored plenty of storage underneath I'd actually quite like this as a you know you have your nav desk but it would be quite nice to actually have this as a working editing suite out the way nice and quiet you know you can have pop it over to the um, to the main screen if you want they're using the hydraulics to let the bathing platform down um, opening hatch and once again you've got some more overhead lockers here and then into the owner's cabin uh, owner's heads so freshwater flush electric obviously separate shower and your wash basin they're all i should have said this on the others but they're all um corian and this looks like it's worked up on sink but it's not it's all molded corian it's one piece um which is really nice so you're not having to worry about you know drips down through that edge or anything like that leakage so there's plenty of storage underneath there's plenty of storage behind the mirrors and there's a huge so I'm in the separate shower um, give you an idea of height you know my arm is nearly stretched up so if you're seven foot 
there's plenty of room and it's quite nice at the shower it's a rain head shower um, and it's all set in up the top it's going to be fantastic so we'll come out of here and we'll come forward anything I've missed or you have any questions I'm sure we're going to get another opportunity to come around here I'm going to do an interview with Mr Rassi and um, someone from the head of sales so if you have any questions let me know in the comments below it's a magnificent boat and I'm pretty sure the video hasn't done it justice there's a lot to get around there's a lot to see um, please give it a thumbs up subscribe and yeah just thank you and we'll see you on the next one